Atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia in the United States, affecting over 5 million people. Generally, we think of atrial fibrillation as more of a nuisance, but it does carry with it a significant increased risk of stroke, and those strokes can have significant morbidity or mortality. Traditionally, the way we've lowered that stroke risk in patients with AFib are by using blood thinning medications or anticoagulation. The medications you may have heard of are Xarelto, Eliquis, Perdaxa, or even Warfarin or Coumadin. The problem with those medications is that they carry with them an increased risk of bleeding. And also, many patients are at increased risk of falls, and they also don't tolerate those medicines well. Watchman gives us a clinically proven alternative to blood thinning medications. I like to think of it like a cork in a bottle. It has no brain and no battery, so it's a one-time implant. The device is implanted through the femoral vein, which is the large vein in the groin, and threaded up into the heart where it's deployed. It's a minimally invasive procedure, and many patients go home the same day. To learn more about the device, please visit our website or contact your primary care provider or cardiologist.